All right, folks, how are we doing? Last, uh, last exercise of the day, we're talking about how to build some freaky forearms. Those beautiful little veins popping out. If you are new to the channel, you can you do me a quick favor, hit that uh, little subscribe, that little uh, like button. I'm sure it does good stuff for that algorithm and all that YouTube -y jazz. All right, what we're gonna be doing. This is, for context, last exercise of the day. So we've done loads of back work, loads of pulling work. We've done pull downs, we've done pull ups. We've done some incline rows. So this is something you're going to want to chuck in right at the end of the workout. Don't do it at the start or you'll just be too fried to do any proper work. What are you going to do? I like to, with a dumbbell wrist curl, think about, rather than just going through the motions, up and down, I'll just pop that down for a sec. I want you to think about full flexion extension of the wrist. So you're going to go here. Just like with any other muscle, you want that deep stretch under load. So big squeeze at the top, and a big stretch down, almost let the dumbbell come into the fingers and then back up to the top. I'm gonna to hit a set, show you what I mean. Uh, probably just one straight set. I don't tend to need to use a bunch of like my reps and stuff for these, just because they get a crazy pump already. Let me show you what I mean. You know, two at a time, just to save yourself a bit of time, bit of an awkward angle, but I think this works the best. So look, up, big squeeze, down, into the fingertips, squeezing up from there. Might as well finish the set. Here to train, right? Look down into the fingertips, squeeze up, down into the fingertips. Let's see what we can hit on this. Set of 20, maybe? I think that's four. Fuck it, I've lost count already. Five. Oh. Got a nice little vein pop in there, which I can't argue with. Oh. Counting for me, I think this is 11, but screw it, I've no idea. 12. <sighs> 15. <sighs> 15, last few. 16. 17, trying to maintain that tiny all the way to the end. Big squeeze up, stretch down, 18. 19, last one. 20. <sighs> and down. Holy moly. Should get those lovely veins popping if you do that one right. Whew. And with that, we're sort of talking end of a workout, two, maybe three sets. They really don't need to do a bunch of it. Uh, you can do it pretty frequently, two, maybe three times a week. Uh, should give you some good bang for your buck for improving that grip strength. And these things like your deadlifts, your, uh, even your weight if the movements, if you're in an off season and you want to chuck them in. That'll do for today, folks. I will uh, catch you in the next one. Do me a solid. Try and uh, leave some suggestions for future videos down below. Maybe uh, hit the like, subscribe, all that good YouTube-y stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.